In today's video, what body fat percentage is optimal for men's testosterone levels? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I want to talk to you about body fat percentage and testosterone levels. Why? Well, because what we like to do here is discuss how we can make our body composition better, our performance in the gym better, and just feel better about everything that's going on. So hit the subscribe button if that's something you're interested in doing. And what I typically do is answer questions off my Instagram direct message, which I'll put here, but today's question actually comes from here. And I'll tell you why. I have a long history with the bodybuilding world, okay? I started the process of getting ready for a bodybuilding show in 2007. I competed in 2008 and I've done so every couple years. The process requires you get very, very low in body fat percentage. And we know that when your body fat percentage gets very, very low, based on many case studies, and actually I did a case study on myself, well, testosterone levels are naturally going to decline. So then Paul, why the hell do you do it? Well, I love the sport of bodybuilding. It kind of challenges myself. It keeps me excited about the gym and it's a way for me to see all the progress I've made because as much as we need subcutaneous body fat, it hides all the shape and the detail of the muscles that we're creating. And oftentimes it can be, it can be really tough to see those changes. So what I want to talk about today is where should our body fat be based on my anecdote, my personal kind of feelings on it, what I've seen with myself and my clients, but also some research that I looked up and I'll link below. And first let's talk about how low is too low. Really the biggest issue I find with testosterone levels and sex hormones for men and to a degree women as well would be that if they get too low, what starts to happen is our performance in the gym, our energy levels, our mood, those start to suffer. And when your performance in the gym and your mood start to suffer, well, your workouts become lower quality. And over time, especially in contest prep, what I notice is that there does tend to be a little bit of a decrease in kind of lean body mass, but to more of an extent, a decrease in kind of our strength in the gym. Part of that can be just part of losing body fat, changing leverages, but a lot of it can also do with, you know, you just cut your, your set short by a rep or two. And so I find that once I get below 10, eight, 7% body fat, I start really having to conserve my energy for the gym. I have to start changing the time of days that I train. Meal timing becomes ultra important. I have to make sure I'm getting plenty of protein and carbs throughout the day. My fat's gotta be in an optimal range so that I am staying very healthy throughout the process. So if I had to put a basement on how lean an individual can get and still be healthy for body fat, I'd say around eight or 7%. Once you start to get below that, you really start to suffer daily, hourly, psychologically, physiologically, you start to just feel the effects of that. And you can tinker with that line. Now this isn't to say that there are not people out there that can't get below eight or 7% and maintain it and feel great. There are people that are seven feet tall and there are people that weigh 500 pounds on this earth. The human condition is not something that we can simply kind of put a bracket around. We have wild differences in our genes, our experiences and where we come from, okay? So, but I would just say, anytime you get below 10%, you're gonna start noticing things. You're gonna have to pay more attention to your diet and it's also gonna be tougher to maintain your muscle. Now, once our testosterone levels and our hormone levels get to a certain point, then you're actually gonna see a real decrease in kind of overall sexual performance, the way you feel, energy. You might even notice some depression, short moodiness. Things like this are very common for us competitors that diet down. Now when we come out of a competition, what is the optimal range that our body fat should be at for putting on muscle? There's evidence, which I'll link below in the study, that shows that the higher your waistline gets, the more your testosterone levels decrease which sounds kind of counterintuitive. You would think that if you put on more body fat, your bodies would be able to convert more of that free testosterone, free hormones into testosterone in our bodies that we can use. But the research shows that as we age and as our waistline increases, well, testosterone levels decrease. So there tends to be a ceiling. Now, I have experimented in the past with getting as heavy as possible, and I actually saw some side effects when I got up to 250 pounds. I don't know what my body fat percentage was. I was not real happy with taking my shirt off, I can tell you that. My pants were a lot bigger. My shirts were a lot tighter. A lot of people thought I was getting bigger, but I really knew that, you know what, this is probably not a great place for me to be. I didn't feel great. I didn't have energy going up and down the stairs really wasn't excited about a lot of things other than lifting heavy in the gym. Now this was the period where I was the strongest I had ever been, but strongest was just the actual weight, not relative to what I weighed. 
So what would I put the ceiling at for body fat for kind of being in a good place where you're not getting into that obese place where visceral fat is going to start playing a role in some negative health consequences? I'd say the top for men would be around 14 or 15% body fat. You can be a very, very functional athlete at 14 or 15% body fat and still be in a good place. Now, this does require that you're still making sure your diet is in a good place. You know, it doesn't come down to just eating crap food all the time. You need to be having a well-balanced diet, making sure you're getting your protein, carbs, and fats from good sources. But what I find is that I can maintain around 12 to 14% body fat. Now, I'll put some clips in here from a little workout that I did today just to show you where I'm at at around 12 to 14% body fat and it fluctuates a little bit. Why? Well, we just went through the holidays. I'm enjoying my life. I'm not competing for a while. So I allow myself some freedom. And what I find is that I'm able to have complete freedom at this body composition with very little struggle. Okay. And I feel great all the time. What's my weight? Around 225 to 230. This is where I feel I can, with very little effort, maintain, get stronger, recover better. I had quite a few injuries the last time I dieted down, and I'll probably have some clips in here of me at a very low body fat percentage. And while it looks great when you're moving the weights, I just think back to, man, it was really a struggle some days to kind of move weights. I noticed that some of my joints and tendons weren't recovering as fast. Now, I am 44 years old, so I am also dealing with a few things. Yes, I'm over 40, which, and a lot of research and a lot of you know life lessons tells us that that's when things start to go a little bit sideways. But the only thing that's gone sideways for me is my recovery. I find that I feel just as good now as I did when I was 20. The only difference is if I get a nagging injury, it sticks around for a longer time. And I had a few nagging injuries that, you know what, they're all gone right now. So I'm kind of correlating that to me having a little bit more body fat. And that's something that you have to find out for yourself. Where is your best place where you can put on muscle, train and recover, feel good all the time, and feel good about yourself? Because really, that's what we want to do. So a guideline I would give for men would be to be between that 8 and 15% body fat based on what your current goals are, what you want to look like, what you're doing. If you are paying attention to your diet during this time, it can be kind of easy to go in either direction. If I wanted to lose 10 pounds, get down to 10% body fat, it would be no problem for me, okay? Because I'm in a really good place. That's what you need to figure out for yourself. Set goals for yourself. My favorite part of being, you know, kind of in the gym and putting on muscle is that I can kind of change my body composition based on my goals. Do I want to get on a bodybuilding stage? Do I want to get on a powerlifting platform? Do I want to just feel good and strong for an event? All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. 8 to 15% body fat. Talk to you tomorrow.